Number 7. This is 1959 Roosevelt dime in MS-68 condition with full torch. Vividly toned specimen inside this cute NGC holder. With the exception of the upper left reverse, which is essentially brilliant, this vividly toned beauty is drenched in blended cobalt blue and pinkish apricot iridescence. Smooth and lustrous throughout, it is difficult for us to imagine a more desirable survivor from this 1950s Roosevelt dime issue. It was sold for $1,080. Number 6. This is 1949 Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 68 with full torch designation by NGC. Bordering on numismatic perfection, this exquisite early date Roosevelt Dime is virtually pristine with vivid golden copper and pinkish rose iridescence adorning both sides. The central reverse remains brilliant, and all areas are free of grade limiting blemishes. Perfectly executed and preserved with the utmost care and expertise, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It fetched a sum of $1,920 at auction. Number 5. Here is 1962 Roosevelt Dime in MS-67 condition with star and FT designation from NGC. According to NGC, dimes of the early 1960s were routinely hoarded by the BU roll and bag, but many of these were moved frequently between owners until attaining enough value as singles to merit grading and encapsulation. The result is a very common issue that may be a bit tough to locate in MS-67, though there seems to be a higher than usual percentage of full torch examples for a Philadelphia dime. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $1,997.50. Number 4. Here is 1953D Roosevelt dime in MS-68 condition. According to Stax Bowers, Otherwise brilliant surfaces are enhanced by a blush of vivid, multicolored iridescence over the upper third of the obverse. Luster is full and frosty throughout, both sides expectably smooth for the assigned grade and bordering on pristine. It was sold for $2,040. Number 3. This is 1948 Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. The amazing multicolored iridescence that occupies most of the obverse and the reverse border of this sharply struck superb gem helps to create the overall aesthetic appeal that makes the piece so compelling to examine. Undoubtedly, the underlying shimmering luster is another important attribute. When impeccable preservation is added, a rare marriage of technical perfection and stunning visual appeal is achieved. An unimprovable coin that is certainly within the condition census for this date. This attractive example ended up selling for $4,800. Number 2. This is 1947's Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Gentle pastel-like shades of powder blue and pink are enhanced by spring green and sunset red at the left obverse border. Fully struck with bright, frosty luster overall. PCGS reports just one specimen finer, with plus designation but none numerically finer whatsoever. This gem ended up selling for $6,168.75. Number 1. And this is 1956 Roosevelt Dime in PR69 deep cameo condition. With the coin market booming, this year's proof set sales nearly doubled those of the year previously. By this point the proof sets of previous years were such objects of speculative trading that some dealers actually displayed chalkboards at coin shows with their buy-slash-sell prices updated several times daily. This issue is common across all grades through PF69, with enough certified as cameo to be readily collectible. Ultra cameo or deep cameo examples, however, remain fairly scarce. This one fetched a sum of $17,437.50 with buyer's fee at auction. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy coin hunting, and may the rarest coins be in your collection. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Stay well.